Hello, welcome to Oracle Fusion Hub's ADF Tutorials. Today we will talk about the best practices that someone who is developing a J developer or the ADF application should follow. And uh, today's topic is creating custom exception classes. So far, um, we have talked about uh, ADF uh, basic end-to-end -end application, how to create uh, one end-to-end -end application. We have talked about ADF loggers and uh, we have talked about creating shared objects. So I'll uh, continue the application that I've developed. Uh, I'll use the same application that I've developed uh, in my last tutorial, uh, which is uh, the shared BC and the shared view controller projects. And uh, Today's session is primarily uh, dealing deal with how to create uh, custom exception classes and uh, why do you need a custom exception class? So, so normally uh, many of the organizations uh, uh, that you work for um, will have a requirement to, to customize the standard uh, error messages that the application is throwing. Um, Maybe you want to show something about your, your particular development pillar or uh, your particular model or, or something like that. So, so that's, that's, that's one of the reason why we need a custom exception class. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the second one, uh, the second reason that I think of uh, uh, can be using uh, uh, error codes to actually locate an error message. For example, I have I have my central repository of my error codes with with my error messages, and uh, um, it's it's basically not hard coding uh, your error messages. Instead, using error codes that actually represent the error associated with it, or or uh, the error messages that you show are. Uh, defined or defined for one particular language and uh, you want to extend this to other locales so there you can use the uh, custom exception classes i'll show you uh, i mean with the theory that i have already explained i would um, show you the practical way of doing it so <coughs> in the shared bc uh, projects what you're gonna do is you will, uh, uh, I mean, till the exceptions we have already done. So right click on the exceptions in the new, click on Java class. And uh, when you, when you, there will be a pop-up that uh, gets displayed. And when you'll be going to name it as ext JBO exception or, or something, this ext is just the extension that I've uh, prefixed, but you can use your own um, prefix. And uh, it should extend JBO exception. By JBO exception, I mean Oracle dot JBO dot exception, JBO ex exception. And uh, once you uh, uh, create this ext JBO exception dot Java, you will be uh, having a method. I mean a a constructor uh, with this particular uh, uh, signature. What you will do apart from having this particular signature is create another signature of the same type except that in the first one you will have an additional error parameters uh, uh, param but uh, here you don't have that and it's basically you just pass an error code and the system should be able to um, what do you call uh, give you an error message and sometimes along with the error code you pass some of the variables to it uh, so that uh, uh, the system will replace the error message that tokens with the parameters i'll show you how to do that as well so um, once you have this constructor ready what you are basically doing is you're actually calling the resource bundle the, the super uh, constructor so you're not doing anything uh, um, apart from simply calling the super class but the catch here is after you call that you're going to 
override get message standard method and how do you do that you right click on it right click on the editor and go to re go to source and then you will see override methods or you can use control shift o as the shortcut to come to this override method and uh, when you have override methods a list of methods that are available will be displayed here and uh, you basically have to select get message this won't be displayed here because it's ha it has already been overridden and uh, this is the annotation that J developer automatically gives you that this is an override method and uh, here you're going to implement your own uh, method I mean your own implementation for this method and basically what what I'm trying to do is I'm going to create two bundles the resource bundles one is error bundle another one is parameter bundle um, bundles are nothing but a properties file in Java so I, I go to I go here I go to the messages exceptions and then uh, right click on the exceptions new and create a file and in the file I give error messages dot properties and the directory will be exceptions and you will have a messages subfolder here when you do that you will be having error messages dot properties file and error params dot properties file and once you have these two go to the project main directory and you will be having a what do you call the bundle list here which is I mean you don't uh, have to do that because the system will automatically um, I mean take care of the bundles but the default bundle that you have here is the shared BC bundle okay now uh, coming here so you have created an error messages uh, bundle dot properties and error params dot properties so basically what I'm going to do is error messages dot properties this is a list of all the messages that I have in this particular uh, project so I write message dot zero zero one and message dot zero zero two so zero zero one has like something like please contact support services at either one or two this one or two are the tokens that I'll replace it with in the code that I'll show you. And message 002 is just please contact support services at support at oraclefusionhub.com. And uh, when you go to the error params, you will have, I mean, you, you don't hard code things. So you say email Chrome, like if you have a uh, dedicated support for one particular browsers having issues with one particular browsers so you're going to write I mean you're going to display an email address support.chrome at Oracle Fusion Hub and uh, if it is a generic email ID then you will write support.all at Oracle Fusion Hub.com so how, how you are going to use them is this is how you are going to use it so there I have created a, a global variable which is error bundles and uh, this is my path of the bundle and parameters I have this path and uh, message prefix what what prefix I'm using message dot is what I'm using parameter prefix is parameter dot and uh, you by now if you have if you are following my tutorials you will uh, know what it is how to use ADF loggers so I basically used a logger and uh, create logger so in the get message uh, implementation what I've done is first I got hold of uh, a, a, the resource bundle which is which is I named as messages bundle and uh, this is basically I'm getting the bundle with uh, the error bundle as the signature I mean the uh, constant and uh, I have to pass which locale I'm going to get it for so right now I'm using the default locale and I've defined it only for English so uh, I'm planning to do a subsequent uh, tutorial on uh, how to use resource bundles for various uh, locales okay so once I get hold of the messages bundle I'm going to prepare my error message so my error message will be the get error code which is nothing but the error code and uh, I'll append a hyphen here 
and then my message bundle dot get string so i pass a key value here key uh, here and uh, i would get a value from here okay so so let's say in this particular scenario i have passed 001 as the error code so my error message will contain please contact support services at either one or two these are the tokens so how do i replace these tokens with the values that the user gives or the application gives so for that i'm going to loop through all the error parameters that i have this is basically a normal uh, for loop and uh, the parameter value would be coming from the parameter prefix plus get parameter so let's say i have passed a value like first parameter or something like email chrome so when i pass email chrome what you what, what this is gonna do is it is going to append the parameter prefix which is nothing but parameter dot that's what i'm I've written and then it appends the email dot chrome and then it asks the parameters bundle to give it back the value parameter value which is nothing but support dot chrome at oracle fusion hub dot com so once you get it i have this extra tokens here and how do i replace it with the original values i do it here i use the standard java's replace all uh, function and uh, this is a regular expression and uh, you can you can if, if you are not aware of the regular ex expressions you can google for them and then you will be able to uh, work on it uh, with few simple tutorials so once you replace it i mean this will just replace my token with uh, the value that i have the parameter value so uh, once i i mean sorry this parameter value is the one that i have and uh, um, it will basically take the um, i mean this token and replace it with the values that the application will be passing it and uh, if there are any errors it it just logs into the system i mean into the logger and this is how it's it's, it's gonna work and uh, since we don't have any uh, uh, right now we don't have a layout or something to test this particular service what i'm going to do is i've created a test uh, method which is like the, my main method and uh, i'm simply throwing a new ext jvo exception with uh, minus two as my error code and if i do it and uh, if i run this particular program this is going to be my output if you look at it it says 002 i mean exception in thread this particular thread 002 is my error code and uh, what does it say it says please contact support services at support at oracle fusion hub which is nothing but message is 002 please contact support services at support at oracle fusion hub.com and uh, let's say if I pass one and by passing one I have to give other parameters also so I would say uh, it, it's it's email Chrome and email all and or or I shouldn't give as a normal string here it's basically um, I have to wrap it up with a new string with the values email chrome and email all and I would append it with the flower bracket and now if I run it I see that 001 is my error code and please contact support services at either support.chrome at oraclefusionhub.com or 
which is email all which is support all at oraclefusionhub.com support chrome and support all so so this is how you're going to use your own custom exception classes and even though you don't have uh, uh, a, a visibility to how you're going to create the new custom class i mean uh, new exceptions and all during the start of your project i would recommend you to still create this uh, exception class so that if, if things are uh, i mean if you have i mean once you have the visibility of what error messages you are going to display and all it would be very really handy during the uh, course of your development and uh, with this, I would uh, uh, conclude my uh, tutorial on part one of ADF best practices. See you soon. Thank you.